Good evening, I'm Ramon Gordon, and this is the Business Report. Today we take a closer look at the progress being made to establish the Caribbean as a multi-destination tourism market. The character of the Caribbean and its industries is seeking a new expression through the vehicle of tourism and adjacent enterprises. Having been hit with recent travel advisories, stakeholders within the region, represented by President of the Caribbean Hotel and Tourism Association, CHTA, Nicola madden Gregg, are seeking to set aside any stigmas that may be having a negative influence on perceptions. We have had a little bit of a challenge with the travel advisors, but of course, because we are resilient people, we have done a lot of work and effort to claw back that business. We continue to monitor and make sure that going forward, um, we have to do some more work to bring back the business. Because unfortunately, that was a perception more than a reality. We know on the ground, the reality is neither Jamaica or the Bahamas is any less safe. It's actually probably more safe than it has ever been. And so it's more of how do we communicate that to our traveling audience. Onlookers will note that the region has attracted over 36 million visitors already this year, which is almost equal to the entire population of Canada, a figure that may be extended even farther as the CHTA and others experiment in applying an innovation from the cruise sector to airlift that is more inclusive of Latin America. The discovery for Latin America is not only about the English-speaking Caribbean, but the Spanish-speaking Caribbean, the French-speaking, the Dutch-speaking Caribbean. So it's for them and for us to make that case that we are a destination that you can really have that diverse experience and the fact that we're moving to have more interregional travel and you being able to do multi-destinational travel like going to Europe you would go and you go to various countries we want them to experience the Caribbean like that you come to the Caribbean and you can visit three or four or five countries and that's why we're getting our connectivity together so it will be a, a comprehensive experience showcasing all of the cultures that make the Caribbean unique a pilot program designed to examine the practicality of the Caribbean becoming a multi-destination region was also described by Madden Gregg. So far here the feedback is fantastic. I'm really happy for that. Um, it's a pilot program. We wanted to try and see for the first time how we could do this multi-destination experience. So we did, of course, um, St. Lucia. They also um, had a stopover in Barbados. They're here in Jamaica and they're going on to Cayman. Really to prove and show that how integrated the Caribbean is and how different the experiences are. Um, it's something we feel that we can definitely ensure, especially for the long haul visitors, that when they're coming, they're thinking, oh, I'm just going to come to one destination, I'm going to stay for seven days or 14 days. It can also mean that persons who are only staying for five nights in a destination may now decide to stay seven or 10 days in the region because they are able to go on and have new and different experiences. The CHTA president also provides perspective to local operators in this space that if the promotion of the region as a destination is to maintain integrity shared concerns will need to be addressed because we're all looking at the same issues whether it's sargassum or just you know um, climate change in and of itself but how do we now jointly approach the matter so that is a part of a big part of our advocacy efforts working with other multilaterals and ensuring that we are working together to get it done and that was your business report. Up next, your market summary. Do stay tuned. More CVM News at 7 after this.